Beginning SQL Server 2012, this is Karl Mantorf. This is my new book, available on Amazon.com and also in your local book. Let's consider exporting to Excel 2007 format. That format is different from previous versions of Excel. Right click, Tasks, Export. If we pick Import by accident, it's the same program. We just have, we just don't have the source values prefilled. So this is the SSIS Import Export Wizard. Next. So this is pre-filled because uh, that was our menu choice. Use Windows Authentication. We have to indicate our destination as Excel. And in 2007 format. So this is going to be F drive temp folder sales order info dot x l s x this is the 2007 format uh, extension first row has column names next Copy data from one or more tables or views. Or we can write a query. There is some difference. The metadata about columns available when we are sourcing it from table, tables or views. We have to be careful because uh, the wizard is guessing the metadata. It may be incorrect in some cases and we may be able to help out the wizard by uh, doing converts while specifying uh, the data for a column in question. Let's select sales order header and sales order detail. So it's going to the same Excel file, but we are going to have two sheets filled. Edit mappings. It looks uh, good. So these are Excel data types, not T SQL data types. Okay. Now detail has a hundred twenty K rows. Excel two thousand seven is able to handle over sixty four K. But previous versions uh, would uh, fail with export because uh, the limit is 64K. The mapping looks good. We can also edit mappings in create table. This create table is not creating a SQL Server table. It creates an um, Excel worksheet uh, and similar terminology is used. After all, an Excel worksheet looks pretty much like a database table. OK. Preview. Looks good. Preview. Looks good. Next. We have some yellow triangle. We need to investigate. Hopefully it's not going to cause a problem in uh, data transport. And here is the yellow triangle.
Well, let's keep uh, our fingers crossed, see if it's going to work. Next, there's one more choice. We can uh, specify on truncation, ignore instead of fail, and same on error. Next, so we have a choice to save a package, SQL Server on file system for reuse, this is a drop down for uh, security. We are not going to save it, we just run it immediately. Finish. So it's doing uh, the transfer simultaneously into two tables. This finished, the detail is still going on and it's almost, it's 121k, and it was successful. We can check out the report. Close, close. So this is the exported file excel file sales order info excel sx extension and we have two excel worksheets the sales order detail and the sales order header this is the sales order detail and if we look at the row count it has 121,000 rows the data looks okay. And this is sales order header. The data looks okay. And it has 31,000 rows. Summary. The SSIS Import Export Wizard is an excellent tool to export data from the SQL Server 2012 database into Excel. Particularly Excel 2007 is more capable than previous versions so we can export tables which are bigger than 64,000 rows. This is the end of a short demo.